Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Today is my third attempt at aluminum smelting, and I've had a couple issues with this in the past, and I've now upgraded to a real crucible, so hopefully that will help me keep my aluminum molten without destroying the crucible that it's in. I have a couple other things that I need to do first. Uh, for one thing, when I tried to move my little furnace rig, uh, it fell over and the wheels fell off, so somehow I need to get that back onto wheels without breaking it more. Alright, that has definitely made things worse. I'm pretty sure this uh, furnace has had it. So, time to start over with that. Well, I got a little bit of aluminum out into my uh, muffin tin here. My mold to try to do a uh, bottle opener didn't work at all. And uh, my muffins don't look very good here. I didn't even bother doing my key form here. It's just impossible to pour this stuff. Since I've had so much trouble getting charcoal to work with this furnace, I'm going to switch over to propane. I found this old weed burner somewhere. I was going to use it for another project, but uh, see if it'll work for a high flow propane feed into the furnace. Not quite the right size. Try my old adapter from the uh, forced air system. Perfect fit. I've only run this for a few minutes and I've already maxed out the thermometer. I'm going to start by melting this stuff from last time. This is kind of the concentrated uh, aluminum from the cans. So I'll melt these down and we'll pour them in those molds. And then once we're out of this, we'll melt some more of the cans down and we'll try to make some of these aluminum muffins. I definitely have aluminum leaking out of the bottom of the furnace. I think that's just old stuff from one of my prior attempts. And these are supposed to be fire bricks and fire aided mortar, but uh, just not enough to put up with that heat. So I've just been absolutely blasting that stuff for about an hour now, plus the hour to preheat the crucible in the furnace. I've gone through about a tank and a half of propane. This is starting to get expensive for something that's supposed to be uh, cheap and easy. I might have to try something a little more drastic. All right, it's finally 
slowly melting. All right, let's try to pour it. See if it actually comes out this time. Oh, that's way too big. It's very hard to control this. All right, now that I've wasted all of my good aluminum making a huge, huge key and a really bad bottle opener, I guess I'll try to melt some cans down. It turns out I didn't need the furnace at all. I just needed the weed burner. One five gallon bucket full of crushed aluminum cans, we can make one and a half aluminum muffins plus that giant blob of slag. There's still metal down there, it's just not very accessible metal. Alright, some of my first pours have cooled down, so Let's uh, pop them out and see what happened. This one actually has a aluminum bubble in it. All right, well that looks fairly terrible. Uh, there's that bubble. So that's just a thin crust of aluminum there. Um, you can see the outline of the key that I was trying to pour, but uh, obviously I poured way, way too much material and then it didn't really uh, fill in the mold very well, so there's some holes, there's gaps. So, I don't know, this, this didn't really work very well. I guess I could try to melt this down again and do something else with it. And then my little bottle opener deal, this didn't work at all. It didn't pour correctly and it doesn't want to come out of the mold at all, so that's uh, kind of a failure again. This one got a little slag mixed in with it, so not the best. And this slag, there really does seem to be a lot of good metal mixed in with it. I mean, that looks like aluminum. So, I don't know how to purify this more without maybe smashing it all apart and trying to remelt it. <clears throat> it doesn't really want to smash, probably because it's mostly metal. Let's see if I can get this stuff out of my failed bottle opener mold. There we go. Well, it looks nice, I guess. Too bad it won't work as a bottle opener at all because it oozed out everywhere and didn't really form the top properly. Alrighty, I'm on uh, day two of my attempt with propane and it's I don't know, it's just not doing much. I, I was able to make a couple aluminum muffins, but really this is all I have to show for just buckets and buckets of cans. I have a ton of slag, which I'm sure contains metal. In fact, I can see metal in here, but it just doesn't want to melt very well. And then I've got this blob that never really melted right. I've got a casting that didn't really pour right. Got some other molds that I never got enough metal to actually pour. And uh, I tried some brass, but nothing really happened with that at all. It never got hot enough. So I'm basically out of my second tank of propane here. So I don't know. I've gone through uh, about two and a half tanks of that propane. I've gone through many, many bags of charcoal, plus all the charcoal that I made in the fire pit. And all I really have to show for it is, I don't know, 10 cents worth of aluminum here. So, I, I don't know. It's, it's really not efficient. It's not very rewarding. It's um, kind of a pain in the ass. So, I think I'm just going to give up on this and just recycle my cans in the future instead of trying to melt them. 
So I know I keep trying this and I keep giving up on it and I, these aren't very good videos, I'm sorry. I'm experimenting with this, I'm trying out some ideas that uh, YouTube says is easy to do at home, but this is not easy to do at home. So maybe if I get like an electric furnace or something, I can try actually melting metal the right way, but doing it with charcoal or propane in a planter or a homemade furnace just doesn't work. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with this through however many stupid videos this was. Um, hopefully we'll do something more productive next time. We'll see you next time.